you said that he told you, I'm going to keep you chained to this pole until I can trust you. Yeah. Define trust. What did he mean? Until I submitted to him and I did nothing wrong, like trying to escape. And so what would you do to try to make him less suspicious, to make him trust you more? I would like change things that I said and I'll be like, well, you're not bad. You're just a little abnormal and it's okay. Everybody does something wrong. I would let him know that there's like places out there for him to go where he can get help and he don't have to do this anymore. That w was a brilliant strategy very smart. The FBI interrogators will tell you one of the best things to do is trivialize what they've done. It seemed to work because at some point he did move you from the basement, right? Yes. But then when I got up there, it was like he turned into Jacko and Hyde. He'll start saying things like, um, you, you did something wrong. If you do something wrong again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hurt you. It's like, who are you talking to? I didn't do anything. And then I try to, I'll be like this. Well, we could watch a movie together. I'll turn it around and I'll make him feel like I want him in the room. You could defuse him sometimes. Yes. Right. There is a picture in here of the room he moved you to, correct? Yes, I was basically chained to the bed. When you were in this room, you said he had to get the chain just right so you could go to the bathroom. Are you still using a bucket in the bedroom that he yeah. put you in up there? I only had this much chain space, so I couldn't like reach a window or anything. Windows were taped shut or? Boarded. Boarded. No possible way to see out or anybody to see in. You couldn't see the sky, you couldn't see a cloud, you couldn't see anything? No. So tell me about life in this first room that you were in. What was your existence like in that space? Lonely, scared, always praying to God to pop the locks or do something, because I needed to get out of here. I cry daily, and he will always yell at me for crying, always. You're not supposed to cry. You're supposed to be happy. You're kidnapped, chained to a bed, held captive, but you're supposed to be happy. That's his delusional thinking. Yeah, that was his little fairy tale world. Is this a door or a window or what do we That's a here? door where he kept the alarm on. So there's an alarm here? Yeah. Okay, what happened in that room? A lot of abuse. When he did abuse me, it was like, f lasted for maybe like three, four hours. And he'll stop, take a break in between, and come back. Take me through one of those three or four hour sessions. He'll proceed to have sex with me. He'll ask me, do I like it? He'll ask me to say a certain phrase. And if I didn't say it, he would just keep on punching me and punching me until I say it. No matter how how much pain, I try not to say it, because I didn't want to say it. But eventually I said it, so he'll leave me alone. How did you feel when you said it? Dirty. Disgusted of myself. That was a failure. He had won that round. Yeah. Were there times when you would never say it? Yes. And uh, I'll say, well, if you want me to say it, you might as well just kill me, because I'm not going to say it again. So he'll put the, the stench cord around my neck, and he'll start to choke me, and then I'll just pass out. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.